Welcome everybody to another wonderful episode of Minecraft Single Player Survival. Anyways, today we are back in this world. It's been a little bit. I think it's been two and a half weeks so far by the time you guys are seeing this video, which is a bit shocking as that's not really me. Or well, I guess that is me, which I need to change. But anyways, in today's episode, you guys can already tell we will be building a wagon, which will be going over here right above this little area where I've cleared out some of the trees, kind of terraformed the area to make it where it's more easily capable of me building a uh, wagon on it without it looking all crazy. But without us getting to that part of the video, I feel like we should be discussing some future things for this area. So now I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to be doing with this area. These two buildings may be swapped out for something different. That way it kind of fills in with the whole theme I have going on with this area. So now with the wagon concept, there will be well, wagon symbolizing that there's going to be a settlement in this area. Therefore, there are going to be buildings that look like they're being made as in constructed. That means they're not some of them may be fully made. Some of them may not. And that's why I'm thinking that some of these may be switched out with something that kind of fits the theme better that's going on over here. Uh, over here, we have to build a path to this area, but we still have other things that we need to get to for it. We're kind of trying to um, add more projects to our plate and switch things up and have a little bit more fun with what we're going on right now. And yeah, so I think I kind of like the idea of everything right now. Kind of trying to switch things up as I said earlier, but yeah, let's get started with this. So I did go and try to find a bunch of the resources that we needed for this build. So I went and gathered wool. Uh, I Well, I actually went out to get this dark oak wood. And while we were there, I got some acacia wood as in I don't need it right now, but I went out and got it because, well, I saw it. We don't have it from my knowledge. So why not get it while we're there? And let's see, we don't need that as of right now, but we will eventually for the dyes. And we have a bunch of wool now from that a little adventure right there. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need 16 of these. All this can be planks or if not logs. And then we need some spruce and we do not have the spruce on us, believe it or not, which is a bit crazy. So we're going to casually walk over there and see what we can get. Now, if you guys want, you guys are more than welcome to leave a comment down below suggesting on what we should be doing in future episodes. I do have some plans now after our short little break from the series or well from uploading on YouTube in general. Uh, we need to build an iron golem farm eventually. We also need to build a skeleton farm as soon as we find a skeleton spawner once and for all. Because that is going to end up hurting us in the butt and delaying us on a good bit of things. Which is kind of crummy if you think about it because I want to build a flower farm and in order to do so you kind of need bone meal for that and I don't really have the world's greatest supply of it and I am looking for spruce that's what I was looking for. I'm over here just looking around and I'm like why can I not find anything and we ended up finding some. So I want to make a flower farm eventually. I do need to upgrade my afk fish farm because i believe it is currently one of the broken models so that's kind of a shame and we also i already said iron golem farm we need to move the villager breeder at, at some point now we also need to add some cool stuff to that area make it uh i, I don't know more lively instead of barren like it is right now maybe add some custom trees learn how to do some custom trees and yeah so let's see uh Hmm, I'm trying to think. So how far do we want the wagon to come out? Well, I already had the idea of what the wagon would be like. I'm just more of thinking to myself, where do I want the wagon to be placed? How do I want the path to look like? And that type of deal. So the wagon is actually quite big, believe it or not, which is a bit weird. It really does not offer a bunch of space to it, but it does take up a lot of space in my opinion. And let's see, do that real quickly. If I can do this roll, or if I can do it correctly. And we got this now. So this will be, an, and oh, this will end up being the front wheel right here. We will end up having this stick out by one back here, I believe so. And then the wagon is three wide, or well, it should be anyways. And we'll do that, that, 
and then other tire right here. So we got this going on and we can extend this out by a tiny bit more. And let's see, what do I have going on right here? I believe I need to place a dark oak log that way. So we got that down. And then once we have that down, we can end up placing that. And we don't need you right there. So we should be good on that part. And then we can place you there, there, and there. And the wagon is symmetrical for the most part, except the blocks that will be going right there. So nothing too big to worry about, I guess. Oh, well, right here and right there. Uh, I had to look at that real quickly because I was like, that, that, that was not really that correct on that statement right there. And we got this place now. Extend you out and I believe you touch right here and right there. And now we should have the tires. Uh, where are we at? So we have three right here, and then we will place you upside down there, there, and there. And we're good on that part. Place you upside down there, there, and there. Well, if I can place you correctly. And let's see, is this how we want it to look like? I feel like my dark oak do not look right. Or is this spruce? Bruce right now that I'm supposed to be using is that on my other monitor it seems like a dark it is spruce I'm using the wrong wood I was about to say this wood kind of looks a bit more dull in its nature which is while well, I'm looking at my other screen I was like this one looks a bit more dull than what I see on the other screen right now it's like uh, I don't know if that's right Jason uh let's see so we got shoot coming out right here flop yeah, I did this right. Okay. Just making sure. And then we got you coming out here. Bam. Bam. And then we got to break you. And we place that one here. And let's see. So we're good on this part. Now for the front of the wagon, we don't have any horses still, believe it or not, which is kind of a bit weird. So we need to get one eventually, but I don't know how much more longer we can stick it out. Which will end up leading us to getting ender pearls or using elytras because we're getting to the point where that will be one of our main objectives, I guess you can say. And let's put you over here. And what else do we need in this wagon? I'm assuming a chest, so we will break you out. I don't know why I have chests in there. And the idea will be to have some chests randomly placed across over here too. So that should look fine, I guess. And we'll break you. We don't need you right here. We will then raise this up. I believe I'm supposed to raise you up this high. And we'll switch over to the front real quickly and get this nailed off. And let's see. We need a stair. And then we also need to make a fence. I love how I was about to walk over the workbench like it was nothing and end up not seeing it. That would have been funny. Oh gosh. Now a fence gate. How do we make a fence gate? we want to make a fence gate? Yeah, we do. I'm trying to think. Do we want to make a fence gate or fence? Okay, so it's the other way around. That's always good to know. Still, I still can't, like, memorize those recipes. Boom. Got you done. Leave. We don't need you anymore. Switch that across. And we need to place one spruce wood right there. Bam. There. Then we need to place links right here. Oh, we end up needing to make a fence anyways. Man, what am I doing? Do that. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. Yes, we are. No, wrong spot. Place the fence gate there. Right? And then we place our fence there. And then we're good on this part. So this fence, well, is allowing the driver of the wagon to steer it to wherever they want with the horse. So it's another way to attach a horse right here. So I think that will be fine. It's a uh, all right looking aesthetic for the build, in my opinion. And then we can place torches all around right here. And now we get to do a fun part. And that is, oh, we actually have a bunch of live blocks. I do not remember having this many. And now we get to do a bit of placing of wool. I don't recall if we use this much blue wool, but the majority of the top part of the wagon right here 
is going to be of white, I guess you can say. Let's see, so we're going to want to switch you out real quickly. Place that and do it all the way across on all the sides too while we're at it. And I believe we're supposed to be using a spruce wood door for this build. I don't recall because it was either a dark oak wood door or a spruce wood door. And yeah, I just get it mixed up all the time. And let's see, place you there, there. Uh, can I place you easily without causing myself any trouble? Get up while we're at it. And then we can place some more over here. And we should be good on that part. And let's move up a tiny bit. That way I can see. Got some blue right here. Then right there, right there. And what do we have over here? By the way, just one of the notes to you guys that you guys have been doing a great job support wise. So just wanted to thank you guys once again for all the support you guys have been leaving on videos. Uh, starting... I think we may in the future, well, in probably in an episode or two, we're going to start naming villagers, placing them in their designated areas, I guess you can say. And it should be awesome in my opinion. I'm hoping it turns out really good because I will be doing the interior design for a few of those houses over there where they will easily mesh in, I guess, better. Instead of them just staying outside, so like a librarian villager will be moved into one of the houses. If we end up getting a farm, or well, a good farmer, shepherd, or whatever, we can put it in one of the market stalls. Because I think they look way better at doing that than the typical uh, librarian. Because it kind of looks weird if one of them is out about for no random reason. Okay, we're good on this part. So yeah, so we should be getting to that part real soon. And let me switch the behind angle of the build right now. Got white right here. And my dog was just shaking its booty. And it's climbing off my bed right now. It's always great. My other dog just got off too. <laughs> Man. And we're done. I think we're done at least. Let's see. We got to break this down. Was making sure that our inventory looks good. So we got this part done. And that does not look right. Uh, is that supposed to look like? What, what is this supposed to look like? We are supposed to place that there. Let's make sure that it's universal. I love how I forgot to place it in all in one spot. And now we have this part done. And we have to make a door. I'm pretty sure we have a door in my chest by the dock area. But we are too lazy for that. I do not want to make that door. I think I want to make a two-door. Because that would make more sense or will fit more in the I guess theme of the build and we got a spruce door right here place you and it looks like yeah mesh as well and we have this wagon now we'll probably relocate that tree and what we're going to do right now is make some uh can I get in there oh you can't get in there really that's stupid uh we're going to make some hay bales Place some around right here occasionally, I guess. Um, let's see, what do we got going on? And we'll do that. And let's see. And we'll place some randomly like that. It looks like the horse might have taken a break, I guess. That that would work well in my opinion. And we're going to have some chests that are kind of placed right around this area, like it stopped for some reason. And um uh, Oh, yeah, we're going to need a bit more for that. And we're going to end up placing a a fence. And perhaps if we can figure out how to make coarse dirt, which I do not recall how to do. But the idea will be to... Ooh, ooh. Another thing that we could be doing besides using coarse dirt. I don't know how well it looks like. But uh, if you guys don't know, 1.12 came out and it added in a bunch of new blocks such as the... Uh, concrete dust, is that what it was? Or the dust or whatever, powder, I don't know. Um, the brown powder that it added in. Was it that? I don't even remember. Um, I'm pretty sure though. Let's see, concrete, if I can find it. Concrete. Yeah, so it was the brown concrete powder that kind of looks good as another version of dirt. And it does not turn into dirt, so yeah, it's wonderful. 
So I think that's going to be the whole idea for this anyways. We're going to end up fixing that little tidbit up and we should be good to go for the rest. But anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up with that and I shall get back to you guys in a second. Anyways, you guys, we have finished what we're going to be doing for this episode. I figured anyways that I would bring it to an end because for any future al uh, alterings of this little area, uh, I think it would require this area to first off be uh, built up a little bit more. So like if there were actual buildings over here, there would be a actual trail that leads to this area besides what there is right now. Uh, I decided to re reorganize how the chests are laid out. That way they kind of look like they were actually be t being taken out of the cart. We may eventually stick some villagers in that uh, in this wagon right here. And I redid how the actual... the the hay bales looked like me if I could think of what they were called. I ended up taking down the tree that was right there. Two trees that were right here too because they seemed like they were kind of in the way. And we're kind of getting close to touching the tree that started it all. This tree. The spawn tree with this tree right here. This very weird looking tree that I don't even know. Just kind of sparked it all with all the big trees around in the area that was just like. You should really claim this as your single player world. And yeah so... I don't know feel like we did a pretty good job we added a bunch of coarse dirt we couldn't do the brown concrete powder or whatever it's called i keep forgetting but we can't do that since we don't have cocoa beans and you kind of need cocoa beans to make brown powder stuff or brown items in the game in general such as brown wool i mean you can shear it but we don't have any cocoa beans we haven't found a jungle yet which we probably should do so at some point we have to find a lot of biomes still in the game but yeah so either way i think this is going to be it for the episode anyways if you guys do enjoy don't forget to leave a like comment down below what you guys think of the episode but anyways thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys do enjoy and i shall see your faces next time Bye-bye, you guys.